Hey you all, welcome back to my channel. This is me Namrata. Hope you all are doing and your best. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to share with you this glam look which I already created. And uh, this is what I normally do whenever I go out, be it just normal day out or date night. I would always end up doing this. But trust me, I don't apply a lot of makeup. A teeny tiny amount of thing always turn out this glam so right now I'm really happy that finally I got time to share with you all the tricks and uh, techniques which I genuinely follow for my daily makeup routine so at first I will uh, start off uh, with all my um, skincare that is uh, cleansing toning and moisturizing that's the key for glowy skin and uh, at first I cleansed my face with a Cetaphil uh, cleanser and then I used this toner this is an alcohol free toner by Hills. this is their calendula herbal extract toner and uh, then I applied this uh, aloe vera gel from uh, the body shop uh, you can also skip the toner and apply this aloe vera is always always good for your skin no matter what skin type you have and uh, then I applied this moisturizer right here this is the best in the market this is clinic moisture search and uh, then I started uh, doing my makeup although I haven't applied any primer or any uh, foundation and oh I forgot to mention this is what I also used right after that clinic moisturizer this is Neutrogena clear face liquid lotion sunscreen with SPF 55 and uh, this is specially made for acne prone skin it says uh, it's breakout free and uh, then I started with makeup and uh, uh, I used only concealer to hide all my flaws and uh, today I used one of my favorite concealer uh, of this time and that is the Huda Beauty Over Achiever Concealer and I use uh, a shade called uh, Toasted Almond which is exactly my skin tone so if you are just going to apply a concealer then I would always suggest to get something which matches your skin tone perfectly nothing too lighter or darker than your skin tone that won't look normal or natural looking so this is what I applied in all the regular uh, areas like under my eyes and wherever I have those uh, pigmentations like on my cheeks I had some of the acne scars and that almost got covered and this is what I uh, love to have whenever I'm going out or anything so it really works for me if you haven't checked my favorite uh, concealer video I'll be linking that video somewhere on the screen and uh, you can also check the description box I have mentioned some uh, good concealers which has got good coverage but uh, from different uh, price range so you can check it out if you have any budget you can find your own thing so this is what I normally used uh, all over my face and uh, then blended with a brush not uh, with a beauty blender but if you want you can use that if you don't have those uh, pigmentation or anything you can definitely use a sponge but this is what gives the maximum coverage so I used a fluffy concealer brush this is from Basanti Cosmetics you can pick any concealer brush of your choice but one thing you have to make sure whenever you will use any brush for blending your concealer or foundation you have to be little patient at this point because it would take a little longer than a beauty blender and for further blending I spread good amount of this mist this is from pixie this is their hydrating milky mist and it also helps to moisturize your uh, skin now uh, my skin so why not it's winter and it also helps to spread your makeup uh, evenly and uh, to set your makeup on your face so this is what I used and then applied a little bit of banana powder to set my concealer and to give it a matte finish and again I used one of my favorite uh, which you might have seen in all my previous videos that is the wet n wild contour palette this is what I use all the time you can see I already hit that pan which is very satisfying anyway so I used uh, this banana powder to set my face uh, under my eyes or whenever I applied concealer uh, it really helps to uh, set your makeup uh, on place and then applied this uh, bronzer shade uh, only to under uh, my cheekbone to have little bronzed uh, finish I don't know how to explain it but yeah I'm not contouring properly but this kind of bronzer always adds a little definition to your face and uh, then here comes the blush flashy cheeks are always 
always in train and especially when you are not applying a lot of makeup such bright blush always make your look stand out this is what i always always prefer this is the mac matte blush in the shade frankly scarlet but you can pick any shade of your choice but make sure that's little warmer than your skin tone and that also works really great to add little definition to your face if you want you can skip that a uh, bronzer part you can definitely skip this but uh, you have to apply a good amount of this blush um, on the apple of your cheek but if you go a little overboard with your blush you can also fix that don't worry about that you can apply a little bit of this banana powder all over it to uh, you know balance out the flushiness or color on your cheek so this was all for a face and now let's talk about my eyes so i did very minimal thing for my eye but i did a very bold eyebrows this is what i always do and i used this eyebrow pencil this is the benefit cook group eyebrow pencil and i used the shade uh, this is a 4.5 which is a dark brown shade and uh, then i set my eyebrow with a eyebrow gel this is not a proper eyebrow gel this is a clear mascara from covergirl but you can use anything uh, which is transparent but has little hold to it you can use any mascara as i did but if you want you can get a very good eyebrow gel from benefit but that's little bit in the costlier side and for cheaper option uh, check color pop i'll be linking some of the products in the description box make sure you check that out and uh, then i did my eyes so today i used one of my favorite favorite eyeshadow palette this is from bh cosmetics uh, and uh, it's from the collaboration with it's my Rere. Uh, she is a beauty blogger and YouTuber. You can check uh, this eyeshadow palette. It, it's available anywhere. I don't know if you're from India, how do you get BH Cosmetics products? But if you can get from any Insta seller or from anywhere, you must give this palette a try. This is a travel friendly palette. It has got all the bronzer shades and highlighters and all the beautiful eyeshadow. I think you can see all the shades. It has all the neutrals uh, and the beautiful metallic shades. So I used only this two color, very basic. So at first I picked this shade right here. This is called Control Frick. This is a very neutral uh, brown or taupe shade which I applied on my crease, upper crease. And then I uh, filled my lid with the shade right here. This is called Pancake which is uh, more of a skin color, skin like a shade uh, which matches my skin tone. So I just applied uh, this color all over my lid and blended with the little darker shade which I applied earlier on my crease, this one. So this is all I did for my eye and uh, then for little more definition I used uh, this shade right here. This is called Midnight which is a dark brown shade. I used a very uh, flat brush to line my uh, upper lash line and then blend it with my finger and uh, I think you can see how uh, dark this portion is. Not very dark but a little bit darker than this portion. So this is what I wanted to have and uh, in my lower lash line I used uh, this basic eyeliner pencil by Maybelline but this is in the shade brown you pick any brown eyeliner pencil or kajal uh, for outlining your eyes which looks very natural very very natural but adds very good definition to your eyes and I think that's all you need if you are watching this video and liking this look this is how I achieved this look and then I curl my lashes which I really really love doing and uh, I would definitely suggest you all I know you might feel a little scared initially as I did but uh, it will get easier by the time you will get habituated with this thing but it plays a really big role to curl your lashes and make your lashes look longer so this is what I always always use uh, eyelash color and uh, then I used a very good mascara this is the benefit bad girl band mascara and uh, this is the black shade I don't know if they have any other shade but the black always always black mascara I prefer so this is what I used uh, it uh, separates all your lashes and makes it look longer really really longer and lift your lashes a bit which is really great if you're not wearing falsies and of course who is wearing false eyelashes for daily wear right uh, 
at least I don't do that uh, especially when it comes to uh, wearing your lashes uh, for longer time I never prefer wearing lashes instead I prefer good mascara which lift my lashes and uh, make it look fuller so this is what really works for me but you can also check the L'Oreal Lash Paradise that really works great I don't have a good one right now I used to have that but that dried down um, so I'm I'm not uh, showing you right now but you can definitely check that I'm left with highlighter and this is what I use today to achieve this look this is the Kylie Cosmetics Skylighter uh, this is their pressed illuminating powder in shade salted caramel which is a beautiful golden champagne sort of a shade which is very uh, buttery and uh, adds very nice sheen to your skin but again you can pick uh, any product of your choice but make sure that adds nice glow to your skin and uh, then I move forward with the lip that's the last thing and I picked this uh, red lipstick which looks great uh, it can never look dull on anyone so this is the uh, mac uh, patrick star collection called patrick woo uh, this is a very beautiful red shade but before uh, filling my lips with it i outlined my lip with another mac product that is the lip liner this is called absolutely it which is a dark brown shade you can uh, skip this part if you want but whenever i use darker shade especially brown red this sort of dark shade i always prefer to outline my lip that's how i know uh, where should i put this pigment and uh, this is it uh, for uh, today's video that's all I did to achieve this look and this makeup lasts really really long a whole day long but if you have extremely oily skin then I would suggest two more things which you have to carry in your wallet that is this sort of palette not the bronzer uh, bronzer is not necessary but you have to carry this sort of banana powder you can also carry your compact powder that would really work and the, another thing is uh, such oil absorbing shades this is from clean and clear you can pick anything uh, which is available uh, in your place and uh, all you need to do is just place this kind of shades on all the oily zone area that will absorb all the you know excess oil and then you have to set it with this sort of banana powder or compact powder so then it'll be sorted again so this is all i do to glam myself on most of the days so this is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching and uh, it helped you so let me know your thoughts uh, on the comment box and uh, don't forget to check the description box below for all the details and uh, please please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really liked watching this video i'll be back with the next one till then bye bye take care